It turns out that by having this one feature available on your store, you can increase the chances of conversions by sevenfold. Have you ever wanted to buy something online but got stuck in details? I could look up the information on the FAQ page or the policy pages, but how interested do I have to be to invest so much energy in this purchase? As you may know, the average attention span of an adult is around 8 seconds. So if I don't have the answers in that time, and my life is not dependent on those products, I will most likely bounce. After analyzing 1.25 million sale leads, a Harvard study concluded that replying to potential customers within one hour makes it seven times more likely you will close a sale. And the shorter the time between customer inquiry and your answer, the more likely it is that the customer will purchase from you. But we are human and beside building an e-commerce empire, we also need to sleep, spend time with family and sometimes have one or two other jobs. If you don't have a budget to hire a 24-7 support team to answer all your customers' requests, then you will lose a lot of sales. Is there any way we can prevent that from happening? Glad you asked. It turns out there is. You've probably seen those little chat icons on big e-commerce websites. Live chats and chatbots are game changers. They boost conversion rates by assisting customers through their buying journey and answering their questions. There are many options available on the Shopify App Store, but in this video I am going to talk about two of them. Shopify Inbox and the smartest chatbot out there, Tidio. I am aware this is not a fair comparison. Tidio is a software that costed millions to develop, where Shopify Inbox is rather a proof of concept app with minimal functionality. They both have their application and they do overlap in some areas, but they are definitely not the same thing. Comparing Inbox to Tidio is like comparing a landline phone to the latest iPhone. They are both phones, you can make calls and receive calls, but one of them clearly does more than the other. So can either of these chatbots actually answer your customers' questions and remove friction? Let's make a comparison. The main reason people turn to Shopify Inbox is because it's a free Shopify app. It's a good gateway into the world of live chats and chatbots, but it's quite limited. As I said before, the budget for building this too is probably a world apart. But as it turns out, Tidio also has a free plan and for most small stores out there, the plan will be enough at least in the beginning. Both of them have a ticketing system where you can assign tasks to different staff members. Tidio clearly wins here, you can connect all your communication lines including Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp and email and never lose a lead coming from any of these. Where on Shopify inbox you can only get messages that people typed in your Shopify's chat box window. In fact, Shopify inbox would not even be a chatbot if it weren't for the instant answer feature, which is actually an FAQ functionality that looks as if typed by someone in the back end. I would call this chatbot 1.0, where in Tidio you can really dive into creating advanced chatbots that get triggered in key moments when your customer is more likely to take one action or another. By creating a cart booster chatbot, you can convince your customers to buy by offering them a discount in the cart. You can prevent bounce rate by messaging the user when they are about to leave. You can engage a user in a conversation and find out what is holding them from buying. And the list of tests you can run goes on and on. But let's go back to the Harvard study. What happens when no support staff is online to alleviate customer friction? The only thing Shopify Inbox can do is to display those pre-answered questions and you have to pray that the customer's question is on that list. Other than that, you will be able to display the classical we are not available right now, we will get in touch later message. If you are a stats geek, a Forbes report says that the average response time for an online inquiry is 47 hours. Time in which your customers can easily find alternatives and your competition wins. Here's where Tidio is shining. When your support team is offline, Tidio has a secret weapon, an AI conversational chatbot named Lyro that can be trained to have conversations with your customers and potentially alleviate friction. You can upload your FAQs and product data to Lyro, allowing it to respond to your customers' inquiries by rephrasing the answers in a manner distinct from the original content you provided, giving the feeling of a real conversation. I can't say that Lyro is going to replace a real support rep, but it is the next best thing. As a bonus, built into the platform you have an email marketing section, from where you can create and send campaigns to the users collected by the Tidio widget or to your existing contacts. 
you have lots of templates to choose from, you can send emails right away, schedule them for later, or use the automated flows to detect user action and send a certain type of email, like a cart abandonment reminder. Why pay for another app to get that functionality? And finally, I know that some of you will ask, what about the store's speed? Isn't Tidio going to impact the speed of my store? I've been using both Inbox and Tidio and I can say that if anything, Shopify Inbox is impacting the speed more. Tidio is not injecting their script into the head of the store and instead they give you the option to turn the widget on either from the customized dashboard or by adding the script manually before the closing of the body tag on your theme.liquid file. Now as a bonus, and this technique is not endorsed by Tidio, I'm going to show you how you can load up your Tidio script on user interaction, avoiding any impact that their script might have on your loading speed. First copy the URL of the Tidio script tag and ensure that the customizer's dashboard integration is turned off. Create a snippet and name it lazy loading. Add the code you will find in the description of the video inside the snippet. Include the Tidio link and save. Then include the snippet in the head tag on your theme.liquid file and once again save. Now your store will load up and Tidio will download its assets only after the user starts interacting with the page. And that's it! By doing this you've ensured your customers will get their answers in time, hopefully increasing your conversion rates. A big shout out to Tidio for collabing on this video, follow the link in the description to get started with Tidio absolutely free, plus enjoy a generous 20% discount whenever you decide to upgrade. If you are interested in learning more about how you can increase your conversion rate, you can watch this video next.